This is Some Challenge, an iPhone puzzle game by Socially Conscious Software LLC, copyright 2010. Let's check it out and see how to play. On the main screen, you can choose an easy game, medium, or hard level game. Check out the help section or this tutorial video. So let's take a look at an easy game just to get the idea. So a couple things you'll notice. The game board is up top and it consists of these cells that are color coded some clustered here in brown, this group here in gray, and they're also outlined in red. The clustering of these cells forms a house. Now the object of the game is to place all the tiles from your tray down here onto the board such that the tiles in each house add to ten. To pause the game, you can touch this slider and it pauses the game and stops the clock and brings up the menu. From this menu, you can go create a new game back at the home menu. Uh, you can check out the help section, or you can restart the current game. So, for example, you can uh, also just return to the game by touching the slider back. Uh, but, for example, we could restart, say yes, and it sets the timer back. So, to put tiles from your tray onto the game board, you want to select one of the tiles by clicking on it. Now as you notice here, there's a little green indicator that says we have one of the seven tiles. Also we have one six, one five, two fours, one three, two twos, and seven ones. So let's put our seven tile right here. You just click on the screen and it'll drop the seven tile right where you touched. Now we have, uh, you notice since we ran out of sevens, we no longer have an active tile. When you have no active tile, you can remove the tiles that are on the board by clicking on them. Uh, if you have an active tile, you can click on an unactive tile or the zero, and that will deactivate this tile and let you remove cells. Another way to get tiles off the board, let's say we uh, filled this house up and it doesn't add to ten, so uh, we want to remove some of these ones, we can just select a piece and then drop it in and what that does is it drops the one that was here back into the tray and puts the six up here and now you notice that this house adds to ten and that's indicated by this green indicator that shows you that this house now adds to ten so we can put our seven here and put a two and a one and that guy will add to ten and let's put a five here and a four over here, let's put a three there, and say a two there, and now this guy adds to ten, and so we can put a four there, and a one there, and a, another one there. And now, it lets you know you've won, and tells you what time, and brings up the menu so you can create a new game, or restart the game you just played, or turn to the help section. So let's uh, create a new game. It asks you, would you like to start a new one, and say yes. And let's check out, say, a hard game. Now, as the first thing you'll notice is the game board is much larger. That's because we have many more tiles to place on the board in these houses to get them to add to ten in order to beat this puzzle. Again, we can pause the puzzle by touching on the slider that covers our tray. We can slide it back and resume the game. And like you might expect, uh, if you say you put a nine down in here, and it looks a little small or it's tough to reach, you can zoom in and scroll around just like on any standard iPhone app. And zoom back out. And of course you can pause the game and create a new puzzle if you like. So we hope you enjoy some challenge. We enjoyed creating it and we hope it's a lot of fun. Thanks for being a customer.